All right, we're gonna do a quick flip through of this Evan Moore daily math practice workbook for grade two. Um, I got this for my son to just do some, as it says, daily math practice. During the summer, he has just finished Right Start Math Level B, which um, is kind of Right Start's first grade math program. I mean, he was in first grade and that's what we use for first grade math. So even though this says grade two, after looking at it, I really felt like this was more appropriate than going down to like a lower level. So I think this still lines up nicely with level B. So anyway, I'm just gonna flip through it really quick so you can see what it looks like and kind of what it contains. There's your step and sequence if you wanna look at that. But um, basically it's broken up into week one, day one, week one, day two, week one, day three, day four, and day five. So your first four days are a half page and then day five is usually a bigger chart type page. Um, they take him just a few minutes to do. I usually have him do one page. So we'll do two chunks, two chunks, and then this. That way he doesn't have to um, keep up with how many he's done. Just he knows to do a page and that way we'll get through it a little bit quicker. So you can see we've got money, tally marks, just some simple addition and subtraction, some time, missing numbers, graphing, and it just kind of continues like that. Week two, estimating, patterns. So there's word problems, fractions. And obviously this is as far as he has gotten, but I'm just gonna flip through and look at these here. When I flipped through, when I first got it, there were really only a few that I felt like he was not gonna be able to do after finishing Right Start Math Foundations B. Um, I believe there are a couple of multiplication problems towards the back that he will likely not know how to do, but he should be able to do most of it. And I figured the few that he can't do, I can help him with. And that'll be fine, or we can just skip them. There's some timed addition if you wanna do that. Or write your own word problem. Anyway, I just really like that it's not five million addition problems. You know, there's some like little logic puzzles, there's lots of word problems, but it's very um, quick and easy and simple and just really hit what I wanted, which was to have him just pr keep practicing those math skills just a, a little bit every single day. Um, nothing that's going to stress him out or make him, you know, take a ton of time. Um, but that way he will at least get some daily practice. So, anyway. odd, even an odd, um, geometric shapes. That was something we learned in Right Start Level B. So that was good that we're reviewing that. Some perimeter here. Greater than, less than, or equal to. These are all things that we have learned last year in what we did for first grade. So, so far, this grade two book has been perfect for us. And this one's gonna be a little more challenging, this magic square here, so that's a good little challenge problem for him. Graphing, more fractions. More patterning. So you see it just kind of repeats itself. Same kind of stuff. Um, but I was just really impressed with the fact that it is not super boring 8 million D problems of the same thing. I think I feel like it gives a good variety and reviews most of the things that we learned. I still have not seen any that I felt like he could not figure out. 
Um, I know there are a few, but I don't think we've gotten there yet. Some measurements. Time. We have not done three digit subtraction yet. He has done three digit addition. So he'll like, I mean, he'll be able to do this one because he can very easily see that zero. He'll probably need some help with that one or we may just skip that one since we have not learned that yet. Same with here. It's getting a little bit bigger. Um, now he can do the addition, right? Uh, right start does a lot of addition in level B, just not a ton of subtraction. Inches versus feet. That was something we covered this year. Symmetry. Oh, there's, there's a little multiplication. Um, he hasn't learned a ton of multiplication, but he knows enough about how to do it with his abacus that he can figure those out. So he'll be able to still do those even though we haven't fully learned multiplication yet. Same with here, there's some more multiplication. Some more subtraction he likely will not be able to do. He'll be able to do 600 minus 400. Not sure about the others, but well, here's a little bit of probability. That's good. We did not do that in right start, but I think you'll still be able to figure that out. We did talk about that in classical conversations this year. So anyway, there's a few more as we get to the end where it's going to be a little bit more difficult for him, which is fine. And then there's the answer key in the very back. And that's it. So like I said, I've been really impressed with this. Um, I was really happy with with just the workbook and the types of problems that it asks and that it's not um, just not drill and kill, but actually requires them to use their brain and they're fun and short and easy. And there you go. That's all.